Oh, welcome back, champions, to the Banner Saga. I'm your host, the Unitard, and we are in a very interesting position. We got a lot of hard choices to make. So, we have a mender named uh, Ivan, and Ivan wants to blow up the bridge. The king of the Varl, who this is his kingdom and castle, I guess. Uh, does not want us in any way to blow up the bridge. So, the reason why we would, though, is because of all the crazy dredge, and there's, like, the big destroyer dredge, or whatever they are, the really scary ones are coming. Um, I don't know. I feel like if we defy the king, that would be bad for us. Of course... If we listen to the king and we don't break the bridge, then the king will probably be killed. But Hacken is already gone, and Hacken's going to be the next king. And I think that's inevitable anyway. And so we can continue to fight on the bridge, but all our guys are injured. Or at least half of them. Uh, but I think one of the options might be to help. You approach the bridge which gets a raised eyebrow from Fassel, who is lugging a dead warrior over his shoulder. Back for more, he says, glancing out onto the bridge. You can tell that they've lost ground on the bridge since yesterday. What's the plan here, you ask with concern? I just do what your under tells me, replies Fassel. Right now, we're killing every dredge on that bridge. So throw in or piss off if you don't want to fight. Help me clear bodies off the bridge. Our warriors are getting choked up around them. Okay, we're going to help remove bodies. You follow Fasolt, making several dangerous trips near the battleground to pull bodies back to the city. The sight of you and other men struggling to carry lifeless giant bodies would be comical if the circumstances weren't so grievous. Your whole body is aching when you stop for the day. The bodies seem to pile up almost as quickly as you can remove them, and the work is heartbreaking. Dude. Let us destroy the bridge. Okay, so now my heroes are still a little injured. But they're one day from everybody being okay. So maybe if we help out one more time, we can fight the bridge on the bridge again. I don't know if that's what we're going to keep doing or if we're going to leave. I think we should stay, fight on the bridge until they give us permission to, to destroy the bridge. As you approach on the third day, the warriors are in more disarray than usual. Where's Fasolt, you ask, one of the passing barrel? Didn't make it, he replies. Dredge are nearly at the mouth of the bridge, barely held back. Your mind starts to wander into dark places. You snap back to attention when you realize nearly the entire army of Varl are staring in your direction. Ivor walks past, shuffling slowly with an enormous axe in his remaining hand. Yes, Ivor! He heads towards the bridge. Ivor! You yell, but he doesn't reply, plunging his axe into the nearest dredge before kicking it over the side of the bridge. Come on! He screams at the Black Horde. Cursing, you rush to his side in battle. Yes! Ivor! <laughs> I'm so happy to have Ivor back. That's so awesome. I'm pumped. Okay. So, Ivor is in. Onif is injured, so he's out. And Fasold is dead, so he's gone. But screw Fasold. I never liked him anyway. Uh, Ivan should probably be in because he's pretty awesome. He's slightly ridiculously awesome. Okay. And then... Who do we have left? Hogan or Mogan? Uh, Hulk. Ho oh, I shouldn't say that. Copyright. Copyright. We'll just say uh, Hogan. Who says his prayers and eats his vitamins. <laughs> is in. All right. Some people may not know what I'm talking about. Some people will know what I'm talking about. We're going to put Rook last. 
Okay, I don't have a lot of warriors. I wonder if I need Mogan. Or if we're good with all the ranged. I think we're good. Okay, we got Ivor. How can that be bad? Except for Ivor doesn't have his belt, which I keep wanting to give him. He has no items on him right now, because I didn't know he was back yet. And when he got injured, he had his arm chopped off. He, uh, all the items that were on him were taken off. He only had one item, but it was taken off. Okay. What are we looking at here? This dude is brutal. Actually, both of these guys are. They're really bad. They're one-shot kills. So I want to start down here and maybe take out some of these guys before they can even get down to me. I think that's my plan. So, we're going to move everybody down. Ivor goes there. You go here. You're going to go there, and Elite's going to go here. We're going to hug the bottom. And I wonder if we should just move back. Like, all the way back. That will force the dredge to kind of bunch up a bit. Which is what we want. Okay, so Elite is totally stuck. She's not going to be able to even move. But that's alright. Because we're just going to be passing the turn here. Continue to pass the turn. And pass the turn, and then Rook will pass the turn. What? Oh, I totally didn't even see you way over there. Okay. Um, run? <laughs> Throw down traps? That's a good plan. Throw down traps. Now, rest. And rest. I could move into range. I'm going to rest. I'm going to draw them in. Yeah! That's what you get! <laughs> he walked right into my trap. That was sweet. I think that's like the first time that's happened in a long time. <laughs> okay. Um, I can do four damage from here. But I should probably move. And I don't know if she can still do four. Yeah, she still can. Okay. It's good. Alright. Come over. And do... Six? Which is lethal. Yeah! So far, huddling in a corner is working. It's a good strategy. Now the question is, do we move Ivor into a battle? Or do we keep him back here? Stay back. Okay. That wasn't awesome. Uh, maybe now we do get in there. Let's send Hogan in. Hold on a second. What is Hogan's ability is the flail, right? Okay. Well, 
I should see how much damage I do normally. I can do four. And I can do four strength instead of random four. So I would prefer that. Four strength. Okay, well... I could... I think I should at least try. Okay, I don't know if I want to go... No, 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 no. I want to go right up here. And I'm going to arc lightning, which is only going to hit one guy, though, and not two. But I don't know how much damage it does. So, it strikes target for two strength. Continues to... Diagonal use it, units doing one strength damage each time. Okay, so I do two strength. If I put in two, I'm only going to do four. Is that correct? So that's four damage. I think just doing two is fine. don't think Elite can get into range of hitting anybody. Um, she might if she's there, but then she blocks Ivor in. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to move to here. Okay. She can only do one damage. So I'm going to do shield damage. For two. Right. Uh... Block Ivor in. I think if I move to here, though, I can actually take him out. Yep. There's bombs everywhere. Ivor! Damn bombs. Oh man, Hogan just got smashed. There ain't no coming back, brother. <laughs> uh, now what? If I move to there, and I arc lightning, I'm gonna do two damage. I can do four, but it's not worth it to waste a lot, because they're not lined up properly. can't move there. If she does, Ivor can't move. Okay. So we're gonna go to here. And we're gonna set up a trap. Where do we want to set up the trap? Do we want to set it up somewhere cent more central where they're most likely gonna go? 
Oh! Oops! <coughs> oh no! That wasn't wonderful. So we're just gonna do... Oh, you know what though? I wonder if I should maybe start focusing down these guys. Who are really tough! Like, I would like to hit their strength, just because they're so crazy tough. 22 strength? Like, that's insane. Man. Um, I don't want Ivor to die. But I want him to hit this guy. And if I move there, I can't hit anything. But if I move here, I can move you back. And I can get in there. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Really? This is where it gets, it gets bad. These guys. Only do two strength. And I really need to move. Seriously, one shot Ivor? Oh man. I think that's it. I think we're done. Oh, dude. Oh man. 22 hit points, or er, strength points. 22. Ugh. Means every shot he kills someone, and Rook is now dead. Yeah, I think we did so good to begin with, and then it just fell apart. Okay, well, at least he can get off his uh, arc lightning. What is this guy at? He's at 18. Shit. Yep. That's bad. Six. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. If I could mend there, look at that. Or I could use my mender. Three in a row. Oh, that's so bad. Awesome. Okay, so the question is, do we take out this guy for two, or do we try and take this guy out for five? I don't know. I don't know. We can definitely take him out. So, maybe we move... We're gonna put ourselves right in the way getting killed. I really want to take out this guy. Because he's summoning someone right now. Means Oddleaf is a sitting duck. Oh man, I can't even do it! Oh man! Yeah, I'll leave his dead. All right. Oh, please tell me you reach. Oh, you do. You totally do. And excellent. Okay. Arc lightning for two. Oh, wait. We can only hit you for four. He's gonna summon another guy. Whoa! 
What? Oh, you weren't on an angle. <gasps> Not freaking good. Um, I could thread the needle, but I'd be going through my own guys. If I do that... What if I, I go after him? Only for four. Still only for four. Does she not have... Oh, she only has a two exertion. Damn! Forty percent chance, or I could set a trap. They summoned another guy. This is brutal. I'm going to set a trap right here. Of course, he's probably then just going to go for me. Um, What is the most important? I think Elite can take out this guy for one before he goes. And we need to get this guy down in strength. So we can take him down three. I'll take him to 11. And Elite's gonna move over here to get away from the bombs. Though she could have threaded the needle. Uh, no, because he's in the way again. Uh, we only want to get rid of this guy, though. That's our main focus right now. No! Damn it. I don't think we can do it. Constantly I'm sucking at this. Take him down to nine. Still got full armor though, which means she's not gonna be able to do much damage. Three at eighty percent. Okay, that was really good. One at sixty. Okay. So now he's trying to summon someone. So we got to get rid of him. And Elite is still full. And they're not okay. 
Well, who do we go after? The trap's still there. So do we just move to here? If we steal this, we can get off an attack. And do two damage. Which will also cause them to move. Um... Okay. I can't thread the needle. I don't know if I even have willpower to do that. I don't. What I can do, though, is attack... ...for two. Nice! Armor damage? I mean, really, this is up to Elite. She can do two there. She can do three there. I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna try to knock their strength down. Uh, I just have to move away from the bombs. How did Elite get hit by that? Is there a bomb on her? Okay, four, she can do lethal. Man, if we get out of this, I'm gonna be shocked as shit. I'm telling you, because it's just down to elite and this dude, and he's got five health. We can take him down to three. I've got a lot more than he does. I might be able to do this, man. It's gonna take three turns. <laughs> and he's going after my uh, defense, which is fine by me. I'm gonna just keep going after his strength one turn at a time. Elite is the best character in the whole damn game. 90% chance to win the battle for everyone. I cannot believe we won that. I can't believe it. We should not have been able to figure that out. But we did. We totally did. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That was insane. Oh, man. All right, champions, that was the craziest battle yet. And we managed to win, which is nuts. So check it next time to see what happens now. Vassold is dead. Uh, Ivor came back. We stormed the bridge. We won a battle. I don't know what's going to happen. Check it out. Come back next time. I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.